What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and today we're gonna go ahead and review that 93 rated Golasso Hero Cordoba looking at cards 580 on the height medium high work rates 3 star skill moves 4 star weak foot right footed acceleration type is controlled 90 pace 80 shooting 70 passing 73 dribbling 94 defending 91 physicality as well play styles that the card comes with is a lot of them power header ping pass block jockey anticipate slide tackle relentless all on basic and then he has intercept and aerial on plus as well now there's only two chem styles to give cordoba it's either the anchor chemistry style or the shadow i'm gonna give him the anchor chemistry style and hear me out boys acceleration sprint speed goes up to 94 defending pretty much gets maxed out but you want to boost up the physicality because strength goes up to 96 aggression goes up to 97 the reason you want to boost up that physicality is because this man is 5'8". I do not like CBs under 6 foot. That's just a personal preference. I know a lot of people prefer the shorter, more agile CBs. Also, this card cannot even play as a fullback. I believe in the past FIFA's Cordoba had a secondary position as a right back. This one doesn't, so we're definitely going to have to play him as a CB. Other than him being 5'8", in that 61 dribbling, which is absolutely terrible with that 76 ball control, the rest of the stats of the card looking pretty solid. Cordoba is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie Doby for lending us the account in a 4-3-2-1 as a LCB right next to that vintage. Now, by the time I'm recording this video, Cordoba under 1 million coins. We're going to have to see if by any miracle that this Cordoba is a top 10 CB in the game. And more specifically, is he better than that 94 vintage that is over 500k and a lot of people are saying is very nice in game. We're going to play some games in foot champs and see the vibes with Mr. Cordoba. All right, here we go with game number one, which is H1804. Hopefully the team is somewhat meta. Uh, the back line's nice. Midfield is solid, and that attack is pretty good. So it's gonna be a good test for the card. This man, Cordoba, wasn't able to reach that uh, pass. That's weird. Let's see. Decent tackle, okay, sending Sterling to the ground. Decent interception, not bad. Oh, wow. Even though we almost got scored on, that was an interesting interception animation from Cordoba. Very nice interception. Ooh, unlucky. Nice interception. Oh, we are getting countered, boys. This is not looking good. Oh, never mind. Good defense from the man Cordoba. Wasn't able to get that interception. Wow. That was a very interesting, wow, okay, man. Cordoba with a very interesting defensive play. We we're getting pressed, not bad from the card. Is he gonna win that header? Yes, he does. Ooh, very nice on deflecting that pass. If he was like 6'3 or 6'4, he actually would have gotten the interception, but it is what it is. Cordoba versus CR7. Oh, it's going to be a good test, boys. It's going to be a great test. He doesn't win the tackle. Oh, nah, that's... That's poor. Great tackle versus Hullet. Not bad. We might be screwed here, boys. Never mind. Cordoba very nice defensively. Very nice job, Cordoba. Good stuff defensively this game. Mm. 
Great tackle versus Warner. Ooh, at least he blocks the shot right there. Not bad. Nice interception. That's a foul. Very nice on blocking that pass. Cordoba, you gotta win that tackle. Nah, that's actually pissing me off that he didn't win that tackle versus Werner. There we go. All right, that's a nice and aggressive tackle from Cordoba. Let's go. Good tackle. Very clutch. All right, so we got to defend this lead. Cordoba with a great tackle to prevent that kickoff glitch. Nice interception. Great tackle versus Bobby. Not bad in the turning on the ball. Even though he does have low dribbling, the high agility and balance probably makes up for it. That pass was terrible, though. Uh-oh. Are we going to get wide ball? No, we do not. Great stuff defensively. Little wide ball. You got to catch up. You got to catch up. Come on, Cordoba. You got to catch up. You have 90 pace for a reason. Nice. Good interception. I'll pass out the back. Lovely stuff, that play. And very nice on reading that wide ball. Good defense. Ooh, not bad. A little shaky, but gets the job done. Very nice tackle. Ooh, nice tackle. Is he going to win the second time? Yes, he does. All right, not bad from Cordoba. Very nice. Ooh, come on. Oh, he's going to get outpaced. How are you gonna get outpaced? You have 90 plus pace and you're getting outpaced. That is not a good look. Ooh, good composure. Great composure right there, I should say. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 93. Rated Golasso Hero Cordoba coming around 590,000 coins by the time I'm recording this video Saturday night. 429,000 coins on the PC. We played five games with the card in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now this Cordoba does offer a lot defensively, but there's obviously some things I do not like from the card, but let's get on with the pros. Number one, he has medium high work rates, great work rates for CB. Next is that he has four star weak foot, which is absolutely crucial. Even though he has 50 vision, which is absolutely terrible, he was able to pass out the back with no problem whatsoever with that 84 short pass and that 80 long pass. He does have ping pass on basic as well. Next pro from the card is the jockeying. The jockeying with this quarterback is arguably the best in the video game because number one, he's 5'8". Number two, because of his body type. Number three, because of the combination of that 86 agility and 98 balance with him having jockeying on basic guys. His jockeying is super, super clean. You could just easily hold LT or L2 depending on what console you're on. And it's just super nice on the jockeying with this card in general. Another pro from the card is the defending. The defending is pretty solid, especially his defensive AI and 92 defense awareness going up to 96. Always at the right spot, the right moment defensively. And that's pretty much it with the card. What I like because the following points is going to have a huge asterisk next to it. Pace, physicality, and even defending. It all depends if you're a good manual defender. What do I mean by that? If you love to manually select your CBs, you're going to like this Cordoba because he does a good job in intercepting the ball manually a lot. He wins a lot of one-on-one -on -one tackles whenever you do select them. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't like to defend manually a lot and you like your CPU or AI to defend for you, 
you're not going to like this card because Cordoba does not have that force field. He's 5'8", with his body type, he don't got the sauce. He's not a VVD, he's not a Lucio, he's not a company, he's not a Rio, he's not even someone like Carlos Alberto who's 5'11". This man does not have the insane and overpowered defensive AI to make the tackles for you. But for some of you guys that love to purchase the VVDs and the more expensive center backs, I know some of you guys love to just not defend so much and just let them defend for you. You're not going to get that with this quarterback. Something that surprisingly isn't bad is the dribbling out the back with this card. He has 76 ball control, 61 dribbling, but that gets compensated with that 86 agility, 98 balance, and his body type and him being 5'8". So he actually feels pretty good on the ball surprisingly now something i will say that's quite interesting he has 98 jumping and area on plus this man quarterback he got the hops he can definitely jump high now do i think he can outhead someone like a hallen or like a peter crouch most likely no but if it's somebody that's like 5 10 5 11 6 foot quarterback does a really decent job on winning the header i will say i was pretty surprised on that aspect now the pace is okay it's not as good as i thought it was going to be he has 90 acceleration 90 sprint speed going up to 94 94 we got outpaced a couple times by timo werner but then again it is timo werner timo werner is one of the most annoying cards to go against with that 99 pace i believe so we're gonna give cordoba the benefit of the doubt that Werner is just too broken that nobody can stop him. Aside from that, do I think this card is a top 10 CB in the game? Nope. Do I think he's a very solid and meta CB going into the team of the season? Yes. It just depends on your play style. If you're somebody that's me that despises CBs under 6'2", you're not going to like this card. If you like the more shorter, more agile defenders, you're going to like Cordoba because he does have some great play styles with four defending play styles in the defending category with one of them being intercept on plus so i did like that a lot from this card now he's gonna get thumbs up for me and he's gonna get a rating of an 8.5 out of 10. you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys tried out this card or not and if you guys enjoyed him and think he's absolutely insane or if you're just like me and you just think he's okay at best thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing the next videos that we're gonna go ahead and drop i don't know what's the order i'm dropping all these videos but like i said it's gonna be cordoba parji sung kaka desai and jarzinho so enable those notifications if you guys haven't already on the road to 8,000 subscribers until next time it's been your boy dan fifa i am out bye bye